actually tried to get his money back. Okay? Now, <clears throat> two things. The Uber driver calls the police. Okay? And this guy had a big black book bag, which I don't see how you don't remember a book bag. This guy already had to be zooted off his own supply or something. You know, I would have had that book bag on my back already. So when I open the door, it's coming with me. Ain't no way I would have left that book bag knowing what I got. Like, he probably was so dumb-minded, like, and happy and over ecstatic, probably telling his friends, like, hey, this is what I got, this is what I got. You know how dudes be. And forgot the shit and never got it and got locked up. And now everybody know he got it. Just look. So he is famous right now for being a donkey. So, <clears throat> I don't know. I can't really even tell you my personal feelings on this cab driver. But being as though I have a, a marijuana license, a marijuana card, whatever you want to call it, I would have kept that weed. I'm sorry. I would have kept the flower. It would have been home. It would have not been in the possession of someone else who could possibly smoke that weed. That's all I'm thinking about. That's why. Being Mary Jane is who she is. And that is why today we are going to do a reaction video. And we're going to check this shit out. I'm, I'm going to show you this donkey. Okay? Alright. So, we will go ahead and get to it. Hope you like the video. I hear your voice when no one's around. I'm sitting here when I'm losing ground. Feels like the earth moves under my feet. I feel you in every single heartbeat. You are a lovely, lovely refrain. You spin it round and round in my brain. I sing this tune until it's unfurled. You've got the sweetest ass in the world. Ass in the world. Ass in the world. Ass in the world. Ass in the world.
like the color of the skin of the people that Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. died for. And stories like Malik, you know, have Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s spirit shaking his head in disgust because Malik was sent a picture of his bag just to make sure it was his. And when he went to retrieve it, this happened. Let's go to WPXI 11 for the report, please. When Malik Mollett booked an Uber ride near Pittsburgh, he left a bag behind that police say has a precious cargo inside. He looked like he don't contact an Uber later. Look at him. And had asked them to uh, somehow get him back this, this item, the bag. The Uber driver was getting ready to return the bag, but just like decided that he two pounds of like marijuana unintentionally <laughs> left in the back seat. <laughs> that Uber driver called police instead. Troopers found Millette's number in Uber records and reached out to him, pretending to be his Uber driver. The undercover officer returned the bag to Millette, and police say he seemed excited and happy to get it back, still not realizing he was actually behind the delivery. And police say after the fact, Millette actually tried to deny that that bag was his. He is in jail on $150,000 bail. I don't tell, have to tell y'all why this is stupid, right? Uh, some dog here today just saw themselves, right? See, some of y'all think drug dealing is illegal, honorable, honorable profession. All right, trapping has been promoted and marketed so well that some of you wow. Negroes really think it's legal. That's the only reason you would go back to retrieve two pounds of marijuana in a Uber. If you leave a high quantity of drugs in a Uber, you got to charge that to the game. That's just the L you gotta take. Yes. Going back to retrieve two pounds of weed. I'd be nervous as fuck. Like, if I need my Uber, especially if he wasn't cool as shit, like, I'm not calling that back. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Now, it's times like this. How don't you know you don't have your bag when you get out the car, though? Like, I had pins. He was alive. He had a big thing. Congregation, let's pull out our Bibles and turn to the book of Boondocks. Season one, episode oh, nine. I don't like the boom dance. Is this it? It's the this is what I got all those eyes open for. I had a dream once. It was a dream that little black boys and little black girls would drink from the river of prosperity, freed from the thirst of oppression. But lo and behold, some four decades later, what have I found? But a bunch of trifling, shiftless, good for nothing niggas. And I know some of you don't want to hear me say that word. It's the ugliest word in the English language. But that's what I see now. Niggas. Please let me know. I'll give Malik Malek the biggest he are. I hear your voice when no one's around I'm sitting here when I'm losing ground Feels like the earth moves under my feet I feel you in every single heartbeat You are a lively, lively refrain You spin around and round in my brain I sing this tune until it's unfurled You've got the sweetest Shut up. You lose two pounds in the Uber. You, you just gonna let it go? Yes. No. You, you gonna think maybe the Uber driver didn't open it? I'm gonna have to use my instinct. Like I said, if my, my Lyft driver, my Uber driver you wasn't cool. Two mm, ain't yes. no way. I don't think I'm gonna call him back. I mean, but I am a woman. Yeah. I don't know. He probably had already called. I would be so. Now you got a hundred and fifty thousand dollar bond. Oh, when, when he brought it back, I'd be like, that wasn't about me. Shut up. It's your Uber. Wrong bag. You have to identify yourself to retrieve your lost item. You already gave your name, your phone number, and everything else. What do they say when you go to the airport? Have you been around this bag all the time? Has somebody else packed this bag? I don't know who packed this bag, sir. This is exactly why I'm on Luther King. I was framed. I was framed. All right. Well, I'm feeling Martin Luther King Jr. and Malcolm X. Sitting somewhere right now, having some Starbucks this morning, regretting ever, ever marching for any of y'all. Charlamagne is not here today. The donkey of the day is brought to you by the well, office of Michael. He was S. definitely the donkey of the day, and I don't mean no harm. So was the Uber driver, a donkey, like double donkey of the day. Don't be a donkey. Wow. All right, so I hope you liked that video. I hope you enjoyed everything. Can you agree with me? Was this man an asshole or what? I mean, I made a whole ass dance. Like, 
the sweetest ass. He was the sweetest ass in the world. Like, he deserved what he got. Like, when you move in that type of shit, you know what I'm saying? You got to think about it from the beginning to the end. You cannot skip a beat. And he skipped a couple beats. <laughs> he skipped a couple beats. You know what I'm saying? He got all the way where he got. Let the Uber driver leave. I don't know how soon that Uber driver was gone or, like, how far it was before he called this guy back. But he just made a big fuck up. All right? So, I don't know. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, and comment. Let me know what you want to see. Yeah, so, I hope you like... Ooh, message... Hope you liked that video and I hope you enjoyed it because I will be bringing you more videos like that. I will be bringing you more reaction videos. I will be bringing you more story videos. I will be getting better at my videos. You will want to see them, trust me, okay? So I won't leave yet.